Hey, what's happening everyone? My name is Beastreak and welcome back to my top 10s relating to video games, movies, TV shows, comic books, or anything geek related. Now, as you may have seen from the title, we'll be returning to one of my old favorite TV shows, which I used to watch when I was a kid, Martin Mystery. And for those of you who don't know, Martin Mystery is based on the Italian comics of the same name and is created by the same people who did Totally Spies. The show in of itself features around Martin Mystery, a paranormal obsessed teen, Diana, his half-sister, and their friend Java the Caveman as they work for the Center, an organization who deals with the supernatural led by Mom as well as their friend Billy. I originally looked into this series last year in the previous top 10, but since many of you have enjoyed that one, I'll look into it once again. I originally meant for this to be uploaded during the month of October, but unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to finish it. But nevertheless, we'll be looking into it once again. So let's all team up once again with our trusty U watches and face the mysterious paranormal as well as different monsters and ghouls once again. Let's look into another top 10 Martin Mystery episodes. Number 10, Shriek from Beyond. Mom sends Martin, Diana, and Java on a mission to Newfoundland to look into a weird carving in an iceberg. They also discovered in the nearby village that men, including Martin and Java, become mysteriously entranced after listening to a song. They soon learn that the creature responsible for all the chaos is a siren who had a past with a sailor named Rolf. If you think about it, this is in fact one of the few episodes resolves into mythical Greek culture monsters, especially one from Homer's Odyssey. It has a great story centering around the siren and her reasons for attacking the town. Overall, this episode has a hypnotic tune within of itself. Rose, that's a big idea. We can't have you getting hypnotized again, can we? Number nine. Eternal Christmas. It's Christmas time, and unfortunately, Mom sends Martin and Diana on a mission to find some lost motorists. They soon find themselves in a mysterious Christmas town led by a man named Clifford, and discover that they are, in fact, inside an enchanted snow globe world. Now they have to find a way to restore the snow globe before the spell becomes permanent. This is a great episode for the show, and is in fact its first Christmas episode. It shows us an original idea for the Christmas spirit and how the snow globe world slowly becomes its own version of the Haunted Mansion holiday, but not in a fun way. We even see Martin and Diana's perspectives of the holiday cheer with Martin having a carefree fun, while Diana wants some scheduled fun. Whether you're in an early Christmas spirit or not, this episode does have a darker side in the holiday spirit. Way to give the crazy dude ideas, Martin! How did I know he was gonna go all scroogey on us? Number 8. The House of Zombies. Mom takes Martin, Diane, and Java on a camping trip to the woods as a retreat for the team. Unfortunately, a great storm forces them to find an old house in the middle of the woods. But what they don't know is that the house contains the spirit of a rejected lover who doesn't want them to leave. Ever. If you think about it, this episode has many elements from the horror movie the Evil Dead, with the spirit within the house, the zombified victims, and even the deadly trees. What's interesting is the reason why the spirit doesn't want them out to leave, and you can see why. Even though I haven't seen the Evil Dead movie and don't plan on seeing it anytime soon, this is still a good episode which stands very well on itself. Join us, Martin! <laughs> Sorry, I'm not much of a joiner. Number 7 Hunting of the Blackwater Martin, Diane, and Java are sent to investigate the recently reopened Blackwater Lodge, which was being haunted by its former owner, Phyllis Blackwater, whose spirit was released from a photo. But when Diana got possessed, Martin and Java has to save her and send Phyllis back into his photo. 
If you look closely, you can see that this is sort of an adaption to Stephen King's The Shining, with the manager of the hotel resembling Jack's wife, the way how the hotel is coming alive with the spirit, and especially the mace chase at the end. What's pretty cool is that we get to see a cameo of Stephen King horror's anime itself, Evan Prince, in the beginning. All in all, this is one creepy episode for both Martin Mystery fans and Stephen King fans alike. But what could make a caveman faint? Ask a stupid question? Number 6 Summer, summer Camp Nightmare, Nightmare. Martin, Diane, and Joff are getting ready for summer vacation until Mom sends them to look after a campground as camp counselors. They soon discover that the other counselors are under the control of an alien called Starros, and have been kidnapping kids to power its ship. If you think about it, this episode has some elements of horror movies centering around camps, especially Friday the 13th. The design of the alien is quite frightening, and its intentions are, well, definitely evil. This episode will make you think twice before going to summer camp. So I was right about Soros being an alien. We're on a thousand year old spaceship. Number five. Beast from within. Mom sends Martin, Diane, and Java on a mission to recapture an escaped monster from the center named Gastromo, which was in fact the first monster Mom ever captured. Unfortunately, it latches onto Martin, turning him into a slug-like creature, and turns to control Mom as well. Soon, it's up to Diana and Java to rescue them and stop Gastromo. This is a very interesting episode where we learn a bit about Mom's past as well as her first monster. We even get to see a bit of a side story with Martin trying to impress Jenny by being a gentleman. When Gastromo took over Martin, the design for it is both creepy and cool. Give this episode a watch for its creepiness and suspense. Playtime's over, Diana! Put the toy away! Actually, it's an electromagnet! I wonder if all the iron you've been ingesting has made you magnetic! Number 4 Nightmare of the Coven Martin, Java, and Diana are sent to an all-girls school to investigate the disappearance of its principal, but while snooping, they discover that many of the girls are acting very strange, and figure out that the new principal in charge is in fact a witch released from her prison who plans to transform the girls into her own coven of witches. This is a great episode for this is the first time our trio has encountered a wicked witch in their adventures, and even her design is terrifying. This episode has a Great action mixed with a bit of dark magic. You think you can hurt Prince Delagris Waldadore, master of the dark arts, with a stick? Number three, the Awakening. Martin, Diana, and Java traveled to China to look into a missing lion statue when they stumbled upon an evil sorcerer's plan to awaken the first emperor and his stone army. Soon, they have to find a way to stop him while avoiding many other mythical creatures, including a reanimated statue and a Chinese dragon. As we have seen a witch from the previous episode, this is the first time that Shu has encountered a sorcerer and the way how he was portrayed was also very creative. We even see Diana and Java trying to prank Martin after all the times he pranked them. This episode has a great atmosphere with both history and sorcery. Maybe we ought to run. Number 2 Crypt of a Genie. While attending a party, Martin, Java, and Diana are sent on the mission to look into a burglary in a museum. They soon discover that the incident ties in with an evil genie who escaped her skull prison and plans to get revenge on a prince whose ancestor locked her away years ago. This is a great episode, but this is the first time we even get to see Martin, Diana, and Java encounter a genie, albeit not the friendly kind. The way how the genie forces people to wish for their greatest desire and how she grants their wishes in a twisted way is, in fact, very creepy. This episode shows that you need to be very careful what you wish for. Number 
one part in the history episode is... Zombie Island. When a tropical resort called Fantastic Island has frequent periods of paranormal activity, Martin, Diane, and Java traveled there to not only relax in, with its luxury, but to also investigate the disappearances and discover that all the hotel workers have become zombies or are being commanded by an undead sea monster called Hexon. This is a very good episode and it almost reminds me of Scooby-Doo Zombie Island. I really like the concept of how the zombies were depicted in this episode and how they discovered the monster behind it all is very creative. There's also a very funny side story which Diane tried to prove Martin that she took a picture of the UFO, but he doesn't believe her. With its creepiness and spookiness, this is definitely my number one Martin mystery episode. So those were another of my top 10 favorite Martin Mystery episodes. I hope you enjoyed this top 10, and if you haven't seen the series yet, you can look the episodes up on YouTube. And if I don't have your favorite Martin Mystery episodes, you may write them in the comment section down below. So that's all the time I have today for this video, but don't go out where you still have plenty of more top 10s to look forward to more soon. So stay tuned for more. So thank you all so much for watching, and if you like this video, don't forget to super smash that like button, leave a comment down below to see what you think about this video, and don't forget to share a friend if you want to, and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell, get day for the latest content. So once again, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Stay